Hey guys, and welcome back to a brand new modeling video in Maya 2018. Well, today we're going to be doing a, a new 3D prop, and this time it's going to be a metal bed. Okay, kind of the military barrack style, right? Here we go. All right, guys, well, this uh, prop isn't that uh, difficult, uh, but nevertheless, it's one that's used a lot. Uh, you can use it in the you know, military barracks, in hospitals and whatnot. So uh, that said, let's get started. So I'm going to start with... Um, Let's see, we're gonna start with the Taurus, okay? Now, I don't want this thing to be high poly, so we're gonna hit Control A to open that up, and I'm gonna go in, and let's see how far we can go down. Let's try eight by eight. That's a bit rough. Let's maybe do 12 by 12. That's just enough, I would say. Uh, we can smooth it later and do, uh, you know, bake and all that kind of stuff, but, um, Considering I'm not going to do a bake in this video, what I'll do is I'll step it up one notch. But if you want to do a bake, I would advise to do um, this on 12 and then do a high poly and bake that, right? So let's do 16 because the principle is the same and there's no need to go over that twice. Okay, so we've got this. We're going to jump to our top view and I'm going to right click and go to uh, face and I'm basically going to take this quarter here, actually a bit more than that. Uh, let's see what I want is, uh, yeah, I'm actually gonna take this out as well. And I'm gonna take this out. This one actually, we're gonna go into, um, where do you go? Edit mesh, detach. So we can do this. That's exactly what I want. Now let's say that's the top section of our bed here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in here, I'm going to go to Edge and double click on that and Shift double click on that. Go to Edit Mesh and Bridge, Option Box, Linear Path and the Divisions, let's do five. Okay, so now that we have that, we're going to go in and we're going to take these two. Let's hit Control E to extrude. W to pull out, and if you like, what you can do is actually uh, add divisions there if you want. Of course, you don't have to, but you can. So uh, that's all right. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take a another polygon cylinder. We're going to pull that out. E to rotate. Hold on J. Flip it. Let's set that to 16 as well. We'll set caps to zero, so we can go in. Right click, get a bait to face. Sorry, select those inner faces, get rid of that. Then we're gonna try and get this to roughly the same thickness. So we're gonna E to rotate, hold on J. There you go. Let's hit R and scale that down. That's all right. Hit E to rotate it, flip it around like so. R to scale that. And what we'll do is we'll take these vertices, we'll uh, pull that out, and because they got exactly the same size, it's important to bring it down a bit. So we're gonna hit R and we're gonna go to Modify and Center Pivot first. Scale that down just a bit, and then pull that out. And we want to have the tube going into that frame nice and clean, okay? So that's about right. Normally, in real life, it would be a bit thinner. So that's that. And then what we'll do is we'll hit Control D to duplicate, E to rotate, hold down J, flip that upwards, scale it way down, and then go in here. We're going to right click at a vertex, drag select, W to push that into the frame push that into the frame, there you go. And then we're gonna go in here, we're gonna duplicate this guy a couple of times. Control D to duplicate, W to pull out, something like this. Shift D a couple of times, select that, deselect your frame, bring that in here. Actually, I thought I had all of them. And what we're going to do is we're going to go to Mesh and Combine. So we can go to Modify and Center Pivot. And that way we can make sure it's perfectly in the middle by taking these two. 
going to mesh and combine modify center pivot hit W hold down X snap it right there and then we can take these and do the same so now if I push them up I know that I'm perfectly in the middle okay now that's the end piece or almost the end piece of our bed so I'm going to drag like this mesh combine E to rotate hold on J that's upright W to push that up and what I want down here at the bottom is to uh, enter edge loop hopefully that's still set to manual and I want them on the same height of course so I'm going to add one here as well and then I'm going to hit W and move that so they're both in the same place yeah there we go and then I'm going to go in here to uh, face first hit Q on my keyboard first control E to extrude and let's do 0 0.05 maybe 0 0.09 that's a bit better okay so we've got that end piece we're not there yet what we're going to do next is we're going to take a uh, polygon cube W to move that forward, hit R to stretch it out a little bit. Then I'm going to go in, I'm going to take that top face and get in there and take that bottom face as well. And then I'm going to take this in object mode, hit W, move that out and move that in here towards my frame. Push that up after frame that. Let's get into the right angle here so I can see where I'm at. And it seems that I'm working upside down here. So what I'll do guys is just uh, flip this around. So we can now actually flip our scene and have everything the way it should. So it doesn't look that weird, okay? All right, so we've got this. And what we're gonna do is jump to our top view for wireframe mode let's bring that in here it's a bit too wide so bring it in like this then from this view we're going to determine the height which would be just below that bar I would say but we can adjust that later if that's not the case after frame Okay, so then what we need to do first is move the whole thing like this. We're going to go to vertex, we're going to drag select these, we're going to bring that in. I'm going to select all the bottom ones, bring that down a bit, select these, bring that in like this. Then what I'm going to do here on this guy is right click at a face, hit 4. We don't need that interface because you're not going to see it. And we're going to go and take this guy, hit Control E to extrude 0 0.02, maybe a bit more, 0 0.04, which is kind of nice. Okay, maybe a bit big though, I'm just looking at it here. So scale it down a bit. And bring that in. Okay. So happy with that. Again, the height may be, I'll need to adjust that later, but I'm gonna hit Control D to duplicate. Move that over here. After frame that, what we'll do is we'll, uh, let's see how that works out. Nope. That looks better. All right. So now that we have that, what we're going to do is I am going to uh, select all of this, go to Mesh and Combine. Then I'm going to hit Control D to duplicate, W to move. And on that one, I'm going to go to Mesh and Separate. Okay. Now, uh, first of all, I'm going to hit Control D to group it. So I can go to uh, Modify and Center Pivot. I can have it E to rotate it around as a group like this. We're going to decide on the overall length of the bed, which this seems to be all right. Yeah. Now I'm going to hide this guy for a second here. So just hit H to hide it. 
And what I'm going to do is go in here and let's adjust that height a little bit. So after frame, and what we're going to do here is we're going to go into vertex. Uh, let me think, guys. Let's take these to begin with. Uh, let's bring that in. And of course, we'll have to adjust these as well. Um, I'm not quite sure if I want to have that top rounded. I do want to have it higher for sure. Okay. So what I'll do instead is I'll take this and I'll push it up quite a bit. And I will take this guy, hit Control D to duplicate, W to move up to there, and I'll maybe bring this down a little bit. I think that looks better, okay? So now that we have that, let's go to display show all to get everything back. And uh, that would be about right. Maybe even a bit higher than that. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, so we're getting closer. Now what we need to do next is we need to uh, create a rectangle. That's gonna be our side frame here. Let's hit R and stretch that out. And let's uh, get next to our bed here so we can see it better. So I'm gonna right click at a vertex and let's actually bring it up first. Yep, W, move that up. So that would be about here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna just move it up for a second to about there, okay? Then we're gonna go in here, we're gonna right click go to vertex and push that out here like so. And if you wanna be really precise about it, you can create all the elements. So what you would do is you would put an edge in here and one in here. Q on the keyboard, we're gonna go to perspective mode. This guy is way too thick of course. So we're gonna hit R, we're gonna push that way in. Hit W, move that until it's above these openings. And it's plausible that they will actually fit. So let's just uh, make that a bit thinner, like so. And then we're gonna go in. And we're gonna right click at a face, it's like that face. And shifts like that one. Hit Control E to extrude and W to push down. And as you can see, that is hitting our bracket there. So what we need to do is go in, right click. First, we're gonna lower the whole thing a bit. So let's bring that down just a little bit. And then we're gonna right click, go to vertex, drag click this guy. Make sure that's a, an appropriate fit. Same here. Seems to be okay. And what I want to do with this guy is create a little uh, ledge, I would kind of call it, so we can put the slats in. So we're going to go to insert edge loop, Q on a keyboard, right click face, it's like this, this, and this. Control E to extrude and W to pull out. Nothing crazy there, okay? And we're gonna go in, we're gonna take this guy, Control D to duplicate, E to rotate, hold down J, flip it around, W to move in. Looks like my pivot point wasn't perfectly centered, so we'll have to adjust that a little bit. But we're gonna make sure that that's a good fit. And then I'm going to push it into place. Slight adjustment here. I click vertex. That will go in a little. And the other one will probably come out a little. Yep. Which is okay. So now that we have that, 
we got the frame going on there. We now can put in the uh, the slats of the bed. So we're going to take a rectangle, uh, square, sorry, cube. Uh, let's uh, push that in. Hit R to pull that out. Push that down. Make it a bit wider. W to raise that up. First, let's make sure we got this set up correctly. So we're going to go to vertex, and we're going to get close to that bar there, but not all the way. Same here. Then we're going to go in. We're going to go to object mode. We're going to push that to the end. Make sure all the dimensions are correct, height-wise and whatnot. Now you can see that we need to come up a bit. And you can also see that they're too thick, right? So we're going to push that down because that would make a bed way too expensive. Okay. So now that we have that in place, what we're going to do next is we're going to hit Control D to duplicate, W to move, keep spacing, I would say something like this. And then we're going to hit Shift D. And let's see how that last one fits in there. Maybe need to adjust that just a little. All right. So basically, uh, that's it. You can add uh, elements to it if you want. For example, if you are making a bed for, let's say, a hospital, you can put a clipboard on here. Uh, you can make this arched on top, all kind of stuff like that. Uh, but this is the basic thing and uh, Yeah, that's what you can work with. So I'm gonna drag select this guy I'm gonna go to uh, mesh and combine and there you have it. There's our simple uh, Barracks steel bed. Okay, hopefully you enjoyed this tutorial guys If you've got any questions, let me know as always and that said thank you so much for watching and see you guys next time. Bye